In order to paint my muscle shirt, I use this folk art multi-surface paint. Uh, to do the majority of it, I also added some black to it to darken it up. However, I used a different brand for that, which was a tulip brand. And in hindsight, I wouldn't have used that because it actually had kind of a glitter effect to it. So unless you want a glitter shirt, I wouldn't recommend using the tulip and I would just stick with the folk art. So I started by dyeing the shirt green. If you remember, it was originally white. Then after I had a base color, then I used the rest of the paint to add more detail and put some spots on the arm and such. I've made a little bit of progress on the muscle pants. Uh, as you can see, I've cut out all the specific muscles that are going to go on. and I've actually glued them on, however, I still need to get an uh, outer layer like I did for the shirt. So I'm waiting for the store to get those back in stock in an olive or hunter green color so that I can use those to finish them up. In order to paint the shell, I started off by coating it with what's known as Plasti Dip. This basically is rubber spray in a can. Um, and then I painted over it with spray paint for the initial coat. In order to apply the Plasti Dip, I put a first light coat on there and then I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I put another coat and I added a total of like three or four coats until I had a good solid layer on top of it. I let the Plasti Dip sit overnight to make sure it was good and dry and then I spray painted the shell. I used several coats of the spray paint as well just to make sure I got a good cover on the shell. After the spray painting dried overnight, I added more details with the paint that I used for the shirt originally. For the shell itself, I just added one other shade of brown, and then for the front chest plate, I used several different shades of browns, yellows, greens, and whatnot to give all kinds of detail and shadows. In order to make the staff, I actually just went out into the woods and found some sticks that might be good for it. Uh, you could just go to the store and buy a dowel rod if you want, however, this was a cheaper option and I thought it was more authentic or original. I used a large knife to peel the bark off of the sticks themselves and then I let them sit for a few days to kind of dry out. Depending on what kind of wood you use, you may or may not have to let it sit first. And then afterwards I used some sandpaper to sand it down. I stained the staff with a stain and sealer I had sitting around already so I didn't have to go purchase that. I started by making sure it was mixed up good and I just used one of my staffs for that since I was going to stain it anyway. Then I used a brush to paint on a first coat of it and let it sit for about 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes I used a rag and wiped off the excess and then let it sit for 4 hours before I put a second layer on it. Uh, after it dried for the 4 hours, like I said, I went ahead and added a second layer doing basically the same thing, wiped it off and then let it sit overnight. To wrap the staff I just used a piece of cloth that I had left over from the wrapping I used for the shell itself. To figure out how long a piece I needed, I started by using a test piece, which was 16 inches, and wrapping it around the staff, and then measuring the distance that it covered. I used some hot glue to glue it on as I was wrapping it, just to make sure that it held on there well. So I glued it basically at the beginning, a couple times in the middle, and then at the end. Then to add a little more style, I used the piece of leather that was originally from the bottom of the backpack that I had before, and I just glued and wrapped it around the staff in the middle. So here's what it looks like in a completed form, and I took it for a little bit of a test run. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of my making of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume. I hope you will come back for the next one. There will probably be one more episode before I have the costume done, and then I will do another episode for showing off the costume as a whole. In order to make the belts for the costume, I actually used several different belts, and I just purchased these for pretty cheap at a consignment store, and then I will get some snaps to attach them to the front, and wrap them around the back.